What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through the Pokemon Lab and then the Pokemon Mansion, got ourselves a secret key, and now it is time for us to go take on the gym. Yes, it's gym time, guys. And remember, guys, without the secret key, you can't go through the gym, so there's no way around it. So here it is, Cinnamon Island Pokemon Gym Leader, Blaine, the head quiz master. Hmm. The quiz master. Anywho, you talk to the only man that's ever believed in us. He's going to be telling us this. Yo, Jupiter the making. The hot head Blaine is a fire Pokemon pro. Tell us his spirit was water. You better take a, you better take some burn heals too. That is true. Now, this gym is a little different, guys. You have one of two things that you can do here. You can either answer a question or you can battle the gym, uh, the, the trainer. Or you can just do both. It really doesn't matter. If you guys want to get more levels, that's your decision. But I thought it through, and we're going to be answering all the questions just to get this whole thing going. And, well, here we go. Canopy evolves into Metapod. This is true. Look at that. Okay, so that opens up a, a door right there. And that right there are three trainers... And here's the Pokemon quiz. Get it right. Opens the door. It's going to be saying the same thing right here, guys. So, here we go. There are nine certified Pokemon League badges. No. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Let's see. I've been doing this every single time, and I always get this right. So, Pokemon quiz. Come on. Yes, we know. And this one is going to say... Poliwag evolves, into th or evolves three times. That's technically a no because it evolves twice, one into Poliwhirl, and one into Poliwrath. And if you're in the Johto region, Poliwhirl or Poly... or what was it, Politoed. That technically doesn't mean it's three times right there. So, let's go right ahead and talk to this guy. And... let's get it right. Electric moves are effective against ground-type moves. Hell no! Mm-mm. Okay, so we are correct. And we're going to be moving on forward right here, of course. We still had Repel lingering on our stuff. Alright, let's see what we got. Uh, let's talk to this. Pokemon quiz. Da-da-da-da-da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to conserve. Yes, I do. Okay. Pokemon of the same kind and level are not identical. That is a yes. Because they will all grow in different ways. Even if you clone the Pokemon, it's still, it's still different. So here's the Pokemon quiz. I don't know why I'm continuing to read this thing right here. And TM28 can or contains to Tombstony Noob. Okay. And that right there leads us to Blaine. So what I'm going to do off screen, guys, is I'm going to battle every single one of these guys just so I can get one of my Pokemon up, uh, up to level. I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So here we are back, and we have defeated every single trainer in this gym. They are optional, unless you answer the question incorrectly and all that stuff. So, anywho, here is Blaine waiting for us. He's like, huh, I am Blaine, the Red Hunt leader of the Cinnabar Gym. My fiery Pokemon are all rough and ready with intense heat. They incinerate all challengers. Huh, you better have a burn heal. Well, you guys already know this. I'm going to keep on saying it. It's right there on the chapters. Yes, sir. I love this song. Okay, here it is, guys. We are taking on our seventh gym leader, Pokemon trainer, gym leader Blaine. And he's going to be coming out with his fire type Pokemon. All of them are at least at level 40. And I know what you guys are saying right now. Well, you guys would be up to par if, you know, you kind of, you know, kept one team in general. Well, guess what, guys? I did say I was going to mess around with a lot of this stuff, so this is this is my decision. And, well, I do have a strategy for this one gym battle right here. Completely flew over my head. Brain dance. Okay, time to lower these Pokemon's uh, attacks just a little bit. And here comes a Fire Blast. Usually, this is a very strong attack, but because we have... Uh, we have Rain or Rain Dance right here. It lowers the Fire type Pokemon moves and strengthens Water type Pokemon. So there we go, guys. I'm already declaring victory right there. That's right. I am throwing out the peace sign while I am battling these guys. Look at that, Puss in Boots, mooching off our levels at level 35, 
And here comes a Rampadash. Okay, so it might be faster, but guess what? It's not going to be stronger than us. Because, again, I'm still throwing out that peace sign already. Look at that. Not being cocky, I'm just saying. I am just saying it. And look at this. Super effective. Yes. Oh, yes. Look at that. Puss and Boots just say, hey, just stay still. And here he comes out with an Arcanine. And again, I'm still throwing out that peace sign, guys. Go ahead. Intimidate me all you want. My rain is still falling on you. Yeah, buddy. Let's go. Surf attack for the win. Oh, yes. Throwing out that peace sign. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So there you go, guys. That's how you defeat Blaine. I have burned down to nothing! Not even ashes remain. You have earned the Volcano Badge. Yes, throwing out that peace sign again, guys. Okay! <laughs> the Volcano Badge heightens the special stats of your Pokémon. Here, you can have this too. And we get ourselves the TM38. TM38 is Fire Blast. It's the ultimate fire technique. Don't waste it on watered Pokémon. I don't know how that will happen. So, let's see. Uh, Volpix or Charmeleon would be ideal for this move. Okay. So the funny thing is about this game, guys. When I was playing this as a young kid, I actually thought that, you know, well, it's easy pick, it's going into the 8th gym. But then, like, to my amazement, the next thing happens, and I'm like, oh my god, they added something in. This is awesome. wonder what kind of Pokemon I'm going to find. So once you step out of the 7th gym badge, look at this. Huh! Hey, if it isn't Draven! Look, it's me, Bill! A long time no see. I hope you're still using my PC system. Well, listen, since we met up here, how about spending some time with me? There's a little island in the far south called One Island. A friend invited me, so I'm on my way out there. How about it? Do you feel like coming with me? Sure. Let's go. So there we go, guys. Looks like my pal's boat has arrived, too! He sent a specific, or especially here to Cinnabar Island to pick me up. So, yeah, when I saw this, I was like, wow. I cannot believe that this is happening. They finally added something to this, this whole adventure. And, well, here we are in one island. And there are several islands around here, and this is one of them. My friend Cilio sent the boat to, the, to fetch me here. He's in charge of the, one, or the island's PC network by his lonesome. Why I, or why am I telling you this? Or why am I telling you this now? Let's go see Cilio. Okay. Look at this. This place right here is pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff right here. And here we are in front of Cilio, and he's like, Hey there, Cilio! Bill! I can't believe you came out here. Well, absolutely. How's your research coming along? Oh, wait a sec. Draven, this is my buddy Cilio. He's one dedicated PC maniac. Cilio, this is, uh, this is Draven, a rising contender as a Pokemon champ. That's really impressive. I hate to say it, but I have zero aptitude for battling. Anyways, I'm glad to meet you here. So, bring me up to speed. How is your machine running? It's running fine, but we're too remote out here. The PCs, the PCs on this island just can't link with your PC, Bill. Oh, yeah? Okay, let me take a look-see. Hang on there. I think, uh, I think we can make it work. Let me help you, okay? Draven, can I get you to wait for a, for me uh, for just a bit? Actually, can I get you to do me a favor? The island next to the or the island next to this one's called Two Island. There, there's a guy there that runs a game corner. He has a thing for rare rocks and gems. We keep in touch, being a fellow maniacs. So, can I get you to deliver this meteor a meteorite to him? And there it is. We got ourselves a meteorite. Hmm. Okay. Draven, if you're going to do, or if you're going to Two Island, please take this. And we get ourselves a Tri Pass, which is always great. And it's a pass with the ferry service serving the local islands. It will let you travel between islands one, two, and three. Oh, you should have this too. And we get ourselves an extra page to the the town map. I'll catch you later. Say hi to the guy for me. Okay. So there's one thing that, you know, you can't do here right now, and that is you can't use the PC because that right there links it up to Kanto. That is the reason to why you should probably have a team specifically for this island because, well, there's going to be some stuff going on that will be taken care of in the next episode. Yes, I know, for the first time in quite some time, guys, we're having a short episode. 
I want to make it fun. I really do want to make it fun for the next one. So, stay tuned, guys. Next week, yes, we will be starting the uh, like the 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 Sevi Islands right here. Then going into our eighth and final bat or gym battle, and going into the Pokemon League, and then from there, we're really really close to finishing up this walkthrough. Uh, in fact. This right here is going to enable us to actually trade from Pokemon Emerald and Fire Red. Once we complete the whole walkthrough, oh, I cannot wait to start trading some Pokemon from Fire Red to Leaf or Fire Red to Emerald. That way, you guys can see a little bit more trade. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys for, for being patient. I will see you guys next week for another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. See you guys.